Jesus simply walked in on the Sabbath day and said, hey, stand up. Then he looked at everybody. He said, is it lawful on the Sabbath day to, to save life or to kill? To do good or to do evil? Oh, they said, this man has come again. He heals that man. And then he says to them, on the Sabbath day, if your animal were to go into the pit, you will go pick him out. But you think that I did evil. By releasing this one that Satan has bound this many years on a Sabbath day. So when the people realized that they didn't have a lot on Jesus, they turned their eyes away from Jesus. Then they started talking to the people. They said, see, there are six days in the week for you people to come and be healed. Don't come here on the Sabbath day. Well, it was Jesus that was doing the work on the Sabbath day. Face the man. The authority of Jesus was in uncontestable. It was obvious even to the blind. They said, this one does not teach like the scribes. He teaches as one that had authority. We know that you are a teacher come from God. It's not just because John bore witness to you. We know that you came from God. It's not just because you were ordained. We know that you were come from God. How do you know that this is a teacher come from God? Nicodemus said, because nobody can do these miracles except God be with him. Nicodemus, by extension, had passed a verdict on his own teaching ministry. Because Jesus said very clearly that Nicodemus was also a teacher. He's a teacher of Israel. That guy had a national position. And from that lofty height, there was nobody there that Nicodemus had ever seen that Nicodemus could say, this one came from God after he had experienced Jesus. They thought they were doing something before until they met Jesus. So in John chapter 7, when Jesus Christ comes into, the, into Jerusalem during the feast, remember that feast? And his brothers were going, and they say, hey, let's go to Jerusalem. Nobody does this thing and wants to be known, and we'll be doing things in secret. Jesus said, you people should go. My time has not yet come. When the brothers went up, then Jesus went with his own disciples. And he arrived in Jerusalem in the middle of the feast. Before Jesus came, everybody was asking, where's that guy from Galilee? Where's that guy from Galilee? Then he enters. And whichever corner of the temple Jesus sits, that suddenly became the festival. That became the feast. Everybody gravitated there. The Pharisees, the, 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 the doctors of the law, and the, the prefects of the, of the temple, they, they had had it. They just couldn't take it anymore. But they could not bring themselves by themselves to go and accost Jesus. It was beyond them. So it was below them, they thought. I mean to say. So they called the guards. They called the guards. It's not today that government started using police. They called, they called the guards. And they said, that guy that is in that corner there, go and bring him. So the temple guards went there and it took so long before they now came back to the chief priests and everybody that sent them. Okay, it was bad enough that they took so long to come back. But now it was unconscionable that they came back empty-handed. They came back without the person they told them to go and bring. Ah. So they said, why is the man we told you to go and arrest? They say, if this is the last they will do temple guard job, so be it. You people sent us on an impossible errand. Say, how do you mean? They said to the ascenders, the guard said, never man spoke like that man. That, that means to say, no human being has ever said the kinds of things we heard that man saying today, including those of you that pay our salaries. <laughs> never man spoke like that man. He, he, uh -uh. Of all the people to arrest, is that the person you want? We can't arrest the man. The, 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 the police people that were sent, they, they reviewed the instruction that was given to them. Even if that was going to mean at the cost.
cost of their job. Never man spoke like that man. We know you are a teacher. Come from God. There is a signature of the spirit that we are looking for in the course of these days. It is a greater witness that Jesus talks about. That when somebody says, have you heard that guy? Ah, let me send you one of his tapes. That is good, no problem. But Jesus said, as the father has sent me, that's the same way I'm sending you. It is to say that anything that human beings are capable of saying about us must always and ever be an understatement in the light of the reality of who we are for real. That when they say, ah, that guy, God has helped him more. And, and then somebody is feeling like they are hyping this guy too much. When they now meet the guy, let them realize that, hey, this, the people that told me about this guy, they don't have good adjectives. <laughs> you just said too much. Is that too much? Is that too much? That's, that's where we are going in the course of this conference. We are, we are believing the Lord. We are believing the Lord that from your visage, I'm talking about your visage, that your, your visage will be a carrier of the holy totems of grace. That when people set eyes upon you, it will make an impact. They, they set eyes upon you. You know how Jesus looked at a man and the man went and wept bitterly. They said he went and wept bitterly. The distance between Jesus and Peter was so wide. Because he was standing trial. Peter was still somewhere very far behind. But Jesus was able to manage to turn. And as he turned, he was able to locate Peter. And as their eyes locked, Peter melted. He went away, says scriptures. And he wept bitterly. You will say, who hit you? Who beat you? No. Did any of us say something? No. The place from which the impact came, it, from, it was from a distance. The, the first field of that router was such that if only you can see. If only you can see. That there will be a divine signature upon your voice. That there will be something that defeats, there will be something personalized. There will be something that is resident within, that can never be sufficiently explained, transmitted, described, unless you are personally present. Because Jesus said, as the Father has sent me, that's the same way I have sent you. 